Hey everyone, welcome back to Biteable. My name's Haley, and in this video, I'll share seven communication hacks straight from HR industry leaders. These fast and easy tips are designed to help you communicate better with your team, whether they're remote, distributed, or in-house. The way we work has fundamentally changed in the last few years. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what industry, you've likely experienced your own disruption. And it's not just our working arrangements that have changed. Our way of communicating has changed too. There's a gap in our communication systems that was once filled with coffee meetings, water cooler chats, and brainstorming around a whiteboard. Communication platforms have moved in to try and bridge the distance, but it doesn't always work because when we change the communication channels, our style of communicating has to change with it. When you're not seeing your team face-to-face -face in an office, you lose some of your most valuable communication tools. Body language, nuanced conversations, team bonding around the water cooler are all nixed. But finding a way to connect to your team isn't a nice to have, it's a must have. Let's look at how you can make it happen. The first hack is turn on your video. This hack is recommended by Tracy Brower, the author of The Secrets to Happiness at Work. Brower says if you're experiencing Zoom fatigue, it's easy to just go camera off on your meetings. But when you can, showing up on video is helpful because it demonstrates responsibility, shows confidence, helps to build trust and rapport, helps you engage, and makes you memorable. And on that note, my second hack is integrate video into everyday comms. Video is important beyond live meetings. Mark Attard, an internal comms expert at the Forbes Agency Council, says video is a great tool for storytelling. Integrating video into your day-to-day -day comms can take more of your time, but it's worth it. For example, recording a short feedback video is more likely to capture attention and create action items than a long-winded Slack message or email that might not get read. My third hack is dial up the friendliness. Business communications expert James Chartrand says that when you're working remotely, a lot of in-person conversations become Slack messages and emails, but can be read as cold. Without the gestures and facial expressions of an in-person conversation, a neutral email tone can come across as distant or even aggressive to the reader. Using the same words you would use in a person doesn't always translate in tone, so you need to pay extra attention to written comms. My fourth hack is explain your intent. This comes from Erica Dewan, who hosts the Punk Rock HR podcast. Erica says that when you don't have body language to create context, people create context from things like the time of day or channel a message is sent through. It means ambiguous meeting invites can appear ominous and feedback can appear harsher than you intended. If you preface every invite or communication with your intent, your actions won't be misunderstood. My fifth hack is create a good online experience. When you switch to remote work, we usually add platforms that fill the space where in-person interaction was, but these platforms don't always give a good user experience. Jennifer McClure, CEO of Unbridled Talent and Disrupt HR, says when you implement new technology with your team, you need to set goals and be clear about how to use each platform. Mark Stelsner, who's the founder and managing principal at IA, actually says auditing and cutting communication platforms might also help with platform overload. My sixth hack for good communication is let employees self-serve information. In an office, micro interactions like popping into someone's office and asking someone to send you a file have added benefits like team bonding and socializing. But when these little requests happen all day over instant message or email, it can quickly become overwhelming and create bottlenecks. Danny Spiros, director of People Ops at Zenefits, finds an easy way around this is making communal resources easily available to everyone. This can be anything from files to explanations of policies and processes. Start small and don't try to document everything at once. For example, start with a series of explainer videos about commonly queried internal policies. And my final communication hack is use storytelling to make your communications engaging. When you're dealing with data-driven reports or dry memos, try to write a narrative into your comms that helps the reader understand your meaning and connect with the content. Ron Thomas, the managing director of Strategy Focused Group, says it's not enough anymore to just send a chunk of information and let the reader sift through it. You have to do some work to make it digestible and actionable. Always tell the viewer what to do next. Upgrade your communication style with a few easy tweaks, all vetted by the HR department. 
If you want to learn more about communication tricks for a modern day team, visit our HR blog and don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe for more tutorials like this.